Hello, hope you're doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a catering website quick and easily, as I will be showing you how to do this using the Wix website builder. The reason why I recommend Wix as the platform to use to make your catering business website is because with Wix, you'll be able to sign up and get started for completely free. It is also beginner friendly, meaning it is easy to use and you'll also be easy to integrate the different features and so on that you want on your website. So once on Wix.com, you can sign up using your email address. Once you have done that, I want you to tap on create new site. After selecting create new site, you're going to tap on create on Wix editor. Once you have done that, I want you to tap on set up without AI as this al will allow you to quickly customize and create your website to your personal liking. Once on the search bar, you're going to type in catering. So let's do that real quick. And from here, you can see the option. And from here, you can see the different options, catering company, catering portfolio, catering chef and so on there are numerous options that you can choose from and i will be selecting catering service then tap on next after selecting next you can enter your website name or your business name so i'll simply call this jason test then tap on next after you have done that you will be redirected to this page and these are simply the plugins that will be added to your website, the different features. So for example, you will have the chat plugin, which will allow you to correspond with site visitors from desktop or mobile. You will also have the booking feature, which will allow clients to schedule when they would like you to come in to cater for them. You will also be able to add menus and so on using the restaurant menus feature. And you'll also have the food orders feature, which will allow persons if they want to book you for a the food orders feature, which will allow you to take orders on your site for pickup or delivery. If it is the case that you'd like to add anything more to your website, you can scroll down and you can select the different platforms or plugins that you would like to add better yet. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on next at the bottom of the page. Then select begin with a template. After selecting begin with a template, you'll be redirected to the themes page. And this is one of the standout features that I like when it comes on to Wix, as they provide you with these templates that makes it easy for even a complete beginner to create a professional looking and operating website. I normally choose one of the best matches. All you'll need to do is tap on edit then give it a few seconds while the AI composes our website in the back. Once on this page, you could tap in the box right here and you can provide some information on the Wix AI will compose articles or content that can be added to your website. Or you can simply tap on the X to close the pop-up. Once you have closed the pop-up, you'll tap on the plus 50% in the top right hand corner. And at the moment, this is how our catering website looks and you can see that it does look stunning and professional. Now to make any editing changes, all you'll need to do is hover over the particular section that you would like to change, tap on quick edit in the top left hand corner. So let's say for example, I would like to change the name so I can simply tap right here. Then from there, I can type in whatever I want and you can also change the background color and so on if you want by simply tapping on change and you can do that right here also. If it is a case that you'd like to edit the home page, you can simply select the home page here and from here you could scroll down, change the strip color, you can also change the cover image right there. You can edit the text and everything you can quickly edit on the right hand column. And it is the same concept with all pages on your Wix website. And one thing I should tell you, if you would like to add something to your website that you don't see, you can simply go over to the top left hand corner, tap on the plus that says add elements. 
from here you can see you can add a text box images buttons anything at all that you would like to add to your website you can find it in this section it is quite easy and straightforward to use the wix dashboard now to view the other pages and edit them you're going to simply tap on home in the top left hand corner after you have selected home for example if we were to select services after selecting services you can see the different services right here that are currently on our website and i will be showing you how to edit these services all you'll need to do is simply hover over the services section if you would like to edit the name or so on you can do that by simply tapping on the text i will also be showing you how to add your own services real quick but if you would like to make any basic changes to for example the text box right here you can do that so it is quite easy to edit and you can tap on the services page in the top left hand corner and from there you will see your sample menu. So let's do that real quick. And again, you can also customize and set up your sample menu to your liking. So all you'll need to do is simply tap on the sample menu page. Then from here you can see the sample menu page right here if we were to scroll down. Now to edit and add the different services, you're going to tap on save in the top right hand corner. Then you're going to tap on save and continue. After the changes have been saved, all you'll need to do now, you'll tap on done right there. Then you're going to tap on site and we're going to select my dashboard. Once you have selected my dashboard, you will exit the editor page and it will open up a new page and once on this new page i will be showing you how to add services also how to set up the different payment methods so you can see right here from the left hand column we have a feature by the name of restaurants so if you were to use your mouse pad and simply hover over restaurants you can see menus you're going to tap on that after selecting menu from here you'll be able to set up the different menus that you would like to offer so you can see them right here now to add a menu you can tap on add menu in the top right hand corner add the menu name menu description then tap on save and add the information you can see some sample menus right here if i wanted to edit them i could simply quickly tap on edit and you can see it right there you can also add your price you can tap on modifiers if you'd like to add any modification and you can see the ordering right there you can select whether it is only in house or so on another thing that you can also do by going over to the left hand menu option tap on booking and services and this will help you to add the different services that you would like to offer so for example you can see some typical services that you can quickly edit so let's say for example home visit so you could tap on edit after you have selected edit you're going to simply edit this template so instead of it being home visit you could change it to let's say for example home chef service so you can do that real quick you can change the title right here then we're also going to change this image so we'll tap on the x then tap on the plus and you could select upload media to add an image or you can simply type it in right here then tap on enter and wix will provide you with some copyright free images that you can use so i want to use this image then tap on add to page in the bottom right hand corner and you can see it right there you can also add a quick description add the duration of the particular service and by scrolling down you can add the price so let's say for example 100 dollars per hour then you'll tap on save in the top right hand corner and also by going over to the left hand menu option right below booking and services you can see booking calendar and with the booking calendar you'll be able to view your schedule and see when persons have booked you to close this you'll go over to the top left hand corner 
and tap on the plus right there to close that pop-up. So you can scroll down and from here if you like to create gift cards you can also do that. But now to accept payments you will need to select billing and payments, tap on payments then you'll be able to activate the different payment methods. By doing this, you are going to tap on Manage Payment Methods. Then from here, depending on the country you are located in, you will see different options. So you can choose to connect Tilopay and PayPal, but if you'd like to offer even more payment options, you could change the location in the top right here by tapping on Change. For instance, if I were to change it to United States, you can see right here. So let's select United States real quick and tap on choose. You can see that I now have more payment options as I can activate Wix payment. And from there, I'll be able to accept Apple Pay and Google Pay. And by scrolling down and tapping on see more payment options in the bottom left hand corner, I can set up triple A, after pay, affirm, bank full, Kalarna, and numerous other payment options as you can see right there. Once you are finished setting this up, we can go back to our Wix website editor. And you are going to tap on publish in the top right hand corner for your website to go live. And that's it. In the future, I do recommend that you go onto their paid plan. In fact, just starting out after setting it up, I recommend that you tap on upgrade now and you go onto their paid plan. As their paid plan is quite affordable and with the amount of features that you will be provided with, it is definitely worth it compared to other plans. So you can see right here, you can get started for $17 per month. And with that, you can see the amount of features that you will be offered. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.